Oh boy, it's Friday. And so you know what time it is. It's what's fitness time. What the f And this week, the queen of what the fitness returns, Paige Hathaway. Now, I had included Paige in a few what the fitness videos previously. At one point, I reached out to her because I can't remember exactly what she said, but I was like, maybe she can be reached. And we actually had like an, an okay conversation, I thought. And I even said, hey, you know, if you wanna make sure something is like scientifically accurate, you can run it by me and I'm like happy to help because at the end of the day, you know, if somebody kind of changes the way they're doing something or they're putting out good information, I'm all for it. But yeah, apparently that wasn't what she was with. I actually got uh, sent this by somebody else and I couldn't view the image or the video because I was actually blocked. Uh, apparently we know how she feels about me. That's okay, she can have her opinion. If I was her, I probably wouldn't like me either. But she put up a post. Thankfully, I have troll accounts because you know, I'm super well adjusted and not petty or anything like that. <laughs> so this post was a video where she's talking about some of the stuff she does to burn calories. And it was five ways to burn calories. Hit workout, cryotherapy, is what we're gonna address. Running with the dog outside, weigh down your errands. I'm not sure what that means because I didn't screenshot the rest of it. And a dance party with Presley. Sure, all those things can burn calories, sure except for cryotherapy. In the text, she tagged the company that she does this cryotherapy with, and my guess is that maybe she has some sort of relationship with them, maybe not, I don't know. But she says, during a whole body cryotherapy session, there are many benefits. Some are geared towards pain management, while others can be from anti-aging or athletic recovery. One benefit that intrigues me is the calorie burn. Cryotherapy can help burn an access A-C-C-E-S-S, -S, so at least we know she's still doing her own captions, that's good. Can burn an excess of 300 to 700 calories, I'm guessing is what she was going for, during and after your session. A cryotherapy session can reach temperatures below 150 degrees. Your body produces a massive amount of energy during this two to three minute session to try and fight the cold, and this is why you shiver. It also elevates your heart rate and remains consistent or constant for a few hours post-session. Okay, so let's directly address the calorie burn thing. It's a little bit nebulous. The way it sounds to me is she's saying that that cryotherapy is gonna make you burn 300 to 700 calories more than you would have burned just going about your normal day. When people challenged her on that, she was like, well, I'm talking about not just during the session, I'm talking about the rest of the day. I have got to assume that she is talking about burning 300 to 700 calories above and beyond what you would normally burn doing whatever it is you do. Thankfully, we have this thing called science that can actually do research and uh, determine whether or not things are bullshit. Uh, there have been several studies looking at daily cryotherapy treatment. Uh, one study did daily cryotherapy for, I believe it was several months and found that there was no difference between the people getting the cryotherapy and the people not getting the cryotherapy in body fat, weight, waist circumference, or lean body mass. If it was causing you to burn 300 to 700 calories more per day, you would see differences in fat mass. Otherwise, where is this energy going? Like literally off into oblivion? If it's an actual effect, then you would have to see changes in body mass. There was another study where they were actually having people do it twice a day and they did much more invasive measurements. So they were having athletes do it twice a day for five days and they looked at your BMR uh, and, and energy expenditure. People said, well, it's only five days. If you're actually getting an increase in metabolic rate, you would see that very quickly because she says, you know, during the session and right after. You would actually see that quite quickly. Five days would be more than enough to detect it. Guess what? Drum roll, please. No change to BMR, no change to energy expenditure. I'm sorry, there is no evidence to suggest that cryotherapy increases energy expenditure. There are some people who like cryotherapy for athletic recovery. It does appear that perhaps it can help with pain management, although the research that's out there seems to suggest that cold water immersion is probably better than the cryotherapy you get in one of the chambers. The cold water immersion is going to actually touch more of your surface area and actually cool you better than cryotherapy does. Well, I guess they're both cryotherapy, 
But I'm talking, I'm thinking about the chamber that you go and pay a bunch of money for. It's a lot sexier than filling up your tub with ice. While there is some research that shows it might reduce soreness and help with recovery, there's also quite a bit of research showing that cold water immersion blunts anabolic signaling. They have actually shown attenuation of strength and hypertrophy benefits from resistance training by doing consistent cold water immersion or cryotherapy. Am I saying it's worthless? No. If you are, let's say like a combat athlete and you are getting right close to where you're going to have to fight, you're doing a lot of training, you're beat up, you're sore, then perhaps doing uh, some sort of cryotherapy or cold water immersion is a benefit because if it allows you to reduce your soreness to the point where you can get in, get another training session, another practice session, then it's beneficial. If you're somebody who's looking to get jacked, then you probably don't want to do cryotherapy or cold water immersion because it's going to attenuate your gains in hypertrophy and strength. One interesting benefit to cryotherapy that I did see, which I believe was from cold water immersion, and I don't really have a way to explain this, was researchers observed that cryotherapy actually decreased LDL cholesterol and increased HDL cholesterol. I'm not really sure how that works, but that is a benefit. So there may be benefits to cryotherapy, but it's not going to turn you into a fat burning furnace. You're not going to lose fat from it, and it's not going to make you superhuman. In fact, I'm pretty convinced many of the people who do cold water immersion, here we go, I'm about to piss off the entire internet, do it just because they think it looks fucking cool. Honestly, they're just like, oh, look at me, I'm getting into cryotherapy, look how tough I am. Cool, if you like it, yeah, maybe there's some benefits, but it's not the panacea that everyone is making it out to be. If you are feeling beat up and sore, and maybe you wanna improve your blood lipid panel, maybe cryotherapy or cold water immersion is good for you. If you're looking to get jacked and burn some extra calories, go lift weights because cryotherapy is not for you. All right, guys, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and did you see that? I had a bubble come out of my mouth. Maybe I need cryotherapy, just freeze it so it doesn't come out. All right, guys, that's enough for me. Click those links in the description, go buy some of my shit, and I'll catch you next week.